all right guys welcome back to day 28 and in this video we are finally going to be learning how to implement the theme functionality inside our kinder window uh, now this video hopefully will be the shortest in terms of length and uh, it's going to be the best in terms of the impact it's make it makes to our gui so let's get started with installing our theme so for that we are going to go to our settings and we are going to install a new package and that package is known as triple k not triple k double t k and then themes so you need to install this package and as you can see in the description it is it says a group of themes for the ttk extensions of kinter with a kinter wrapper you don't need to really worry about this stuff it just know that this is important for installing our theme and this is actually a package which is going to change our theme in just three lines uh, so yeah, just uh, install this package first, click on install package. I'm not going to install it because I've already installed it inside my uh, project. All right, so just uh, install it and then just open this GitHub link that's given over here, that is github.com, red phantom, uh, double TK themes. You can just click on it and it will open up in your browser. So this is the, not this, you'll probably get something like, uh, you'll get something like this when you click on that link. And this is basically the code that is required. Uh, and this is the code that is installed our, uh, inside our project, basically. So let's now understand how do we use this uh, uh, TTK themes. So we need to go to Wiki, which has all the information on how to use this package. And it says, uh, welcome and stuff. It contains a TK compatible theme that work TTK extensions of Kinter in Python, which basically means it has themes for our Kinter programming. So now we can go to themes and check out what kind of themes does, does this package have. So we can just click on themes. And if you scroll down, you can see we have Aquatico, Arc. We have a lot of a lot of cool themes over here. The one that I am using is called Radiance. And I just liked how different this theme was. But obviously you can try out any theme that you want. So now let's uh, see how we are actually going to use this theme. So you can see the first line is from ttk themes import we have to import the statement and then we have to import ttk which we have already imported in the last video it is a little bit different uh, from how we imported it because this is the format of python 2 and we are using python 3 plus that's why the format is a little bit different uh, so if you go to our let's close this up so if you go to our uh, ttk as you can see i've written from kinter import ttk and over here is directly written TTK. That's because we are using Python 3 and this code is for Python 2. Anyways, we don't need to write this. We can just copy this from here. So let's just copy this and we can just paste it somewhere over here maybe. All right, my laptop's battery is just about to go out. So I'm just going to put this on charge mode. Let me just plug this in. Okay, all right. So now we have imported this TTK themes, TTK themes, and let's go back to our wiki and see what it says. It says once you have imported the TTK themes, you can create a TK object from the wrapper names themed TK. So what it says is go to our root window that we have declared over here and create a TK object over here. So we can just copy this from here and we can go back to our project. We can just paste this over here. And then if you go down, it also says get themes and then the set theme function actually sets the theme. So we can just copy this and let's go back to our code, paste this over here. Instead of window, we actually need to change it to root because that is our uh, default window of window. And let's go back to our code. And now to add it to our widgets, just add ttk dot, which we have already done in the last video. That is why the last video was so important. If you haven't watched that video before coming to this theme video, make sure you go back to it because we understand a lot more. Uh, we add a, a layer of styling in the last video. So that's why I'm not going to worry about adding this TTK inside this uh, video because we have already done it in the last video. So anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. That's, uh, that's all what you need to add. So now we have set the theme called plastic. And uh, so right now our Kinter window kind of looks like this. So let's reload with the, this plastic theme. So let's reload it. And as you can see, the buttons look a little bit different. The add and the delete button and this volume button looks a little bit different. One thing I want to do is maybe add some padding in the Y area. 
So what can I do is I can just go to the left frame that we have declared somewhere over here and maybe add a padding of pad Y equals 30 pixels so that it gives us some more area in the Y direction and it will look, it should, uh, yeah, now it looks a little bit more better, but this plastic theme is, is, is good. It's decent. Uh, let's just try out some more themes. So let's go to themes tab and we can go down. Let's see this clear looks actually looks a little bit better. So let's try this one out. Let's go up. I mean, you probably know how to do it at, at this point. So you probably can try it on your own. I'm just, I'm just trying out different themes just to show you guys that it works. So let's try it. Clear looks actually this uh, also looks pretty, pretty well at uh, delete this. Uh, it has this volume functionality. This looks pretty good, but the one that I want and then the one that I was using is uh, called radiance. So let's just copy this and paste this over here. I mean, the it's not a lot different from clear looks, but it has a little bit of a different functionality in this, uh, in this volume area and in these buttons and stuff. So let's reload it. All right. So yeah, this is the theme that I want. It looks good. We have a clear and a very good GUI and we have uh, done padding Y in the left frame, but we haven't done it in the right frame. So let's actually go to our right frame over here where it's right frame. Jesus. All right. And let's add a pad Y of equal to 30 pixels over here also. And let's reload it. All right, guys, uh, so this looks pretty good. We can add songs to our uh, playlist. We can do all kind of weird stuff with it. Uh, and this looks pretty good. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are going to be converting our Python file because right now our files are in .py format, right? Which uh, which are okay, but they are Python uh, compiler is required to execute these .py files. So we learn how to convert them into executable files like uh, typical softwares which have .exe extensions at the end so that you can run them on Windows and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow and uh, we'll figure how to do that. Peace out.